Let's think about Andon. Behind me you see one of my favorite cafes in Paris. And when I'm not on the Gemba, this is where I come to have a leisurely breakfast and enjoy some cafe, coffee, croissant and morning sunshine. So let's think about you sitting in a cafe having the perfect breakfast. The perfect breakfast would be that you arrive, the guys already know you, you sit down at the table, and they come and offer you, they, they come and bring you your usual, you say the usual, they come and bring you your usual croissant, cafe, they leave the check there, and you take your breakfast at your leisurely time, you pay and leave the money on the table, and you walk out. This is, this is the smoothest experience you can have. This is the smoothest experience you can have, because your, your own flow, your own standard work for having breakfast is uninterrupted and in, in your own rhythm. Now, of course, in this sequence, uh, you might discover one day that the check is not there and you want to leave. So you raise your hand and the waiter comes in and brings the check and you're back to your standard work. Now, imagine another cafe experience. You're in the touristic center of Paris and you're in a typical tourist trap and then you have to raise your hand all the time. You raise your hand to be seated, you raise your hands for somebody to finally take care of you, you raise your hand because the soup is cold or the, or the dishes are not coming, you raise your hand because you need the check and you need to pay and you need to get out and you've had enough and you're very upset. Now, these two experiences show completely different understanding of what Andon should be about. Andon is about the first cafe. Andon is about a commitment to the standard work. In the first cafe, I'm going through my standard work, my smoothest flow of work to have my breakfast, and the waiter is acting as a team leader. He's overseeing a section, and whenever the one hand comes up, he comes in and immediately tries to bring it back in terms of smoothest flow of work. Now, the other thing he's thinking about is, why did this problem occur? How come we didn't put the check as we usually do with bringing the coffee and the croissant? What happened? And how can we make the worker, in this case, the person having the breakfast experience, smoother with a better flow of work? So, this kind of andon is really stems from a commitment to two things. A commitment to Kaizen, always making it better, and a commitment to standard work, which is always having a smoothest, better flowing work experience. On the other cafe, on the other hand, <coughs> we're looking at something completely different. We're looking at a cafe that is organized not for the smoothest of service, but organized just to process people as they come in. So the, the, the cafe's organization is far more important for these people than the people there. They will never see them again. They just want to process them. So in this case, all these hands coming up is just constant firefighting to finally get the process to actually work the way it's supposed to. This is a very, very different kind of thinking of Andon. So many people fail with Andon because they haven't first worked on their standard work, there, there is no intention to Kaizen, and the team leader is unclear of what he can contribute.